Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? How are you, Alexander? Um, I'm pretty good. It's been a long day. <laughs> How's your job going? Yeah, actually, I uh, a little bit back to back, right? I have to. Well, I spend all my day with uh, slow people. <laughs> so, yeah, it's people who don't have the information at hand and you have to wait for for that information and sometimes a little bit bored because you have to wait and they, they don't are, like these people want to to help your help, but they are you feel like they they are not willing to <laughs> to 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 provide some information, right? And sometimes you have to struggle with that. Yeah. You gotta dig. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta dig for information. Oh that's that's uh it's annoying. Yeah. That's annoying, definitely. Okay, so sorry to hear that. <laughs> but well that's your job right exactly the same here same thing happens at my job uh, with some cases you know we require some documentation and um elderly are a big trouble you know because many family members like to give gift cards you know that's the name says it all right gift cards it's a gift and then when they have trouble with the gift cards, they contact us and they're very old and they don't know how to use an email. So we have to send them by mail, the paperwork, and then they send it back. And then they become anxious on how, you know, how long it takes um, for us to get the, um, to get the documentation. So it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Unless we got a job. Hey, to learn today, I learned um, how do you how do you say uh, for your information? Another another way to say that is for your record. Just when for you the record. Speaking. Yeah, yeah, for your record. Just for the record. The record, yeah. When you are speaking with. Yeah. With someone you don't know, it's like, how, how will you do it? Actually, I saw, I learned that word, the phrase, look, watching an interview with, with 50, 50 cents. <laughs> 50 cents? Yeah. That, that guy speak a little bit. Weird sometimes. Weird. Yeah, because they only mouth like their his mouth like I I don't how do you say he speaks like if he had something on his mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a mumble. Huh? Like a mumble. Mumble is no mumbling. Mumbling. Right. He speaks like mumbling, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kids do that a lot. What about the rest guys? How are you? Come on, say hello. Good night, good night. Good evening, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Let me see, talk to a classmate. Open a conversation with a classmate. You have one minute. Okay, is that difficult? Rick, Rick, guys, is difficult sometimes when you are, you have no idea what, what kind of thing you would like to know. It's not, that. that's the point. I mean, when you talk to a total stranger, you don't expect them to, 
to like you. I don't know to. I don't know why, but we, we, we are really weird as humans, you know, because we're trying to like everybody. We, we expect that everybody likes us. And that's not the way, you know, you, you can talk to anybody and it doesn't matter if you like them or not. Feel free, feel curious in a positive way, of course. Ser metido de una buena manera, decía un jefe mío. It's always good. How do you say ser metido, Mr. Google? Let's do the attendance while we get the answer. <laughs> Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Entrometido. I told you before. I told you before. Andres Giovanni Valdez Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Where can be present? Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Okay. Erika Beatriz López Morales. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chávez. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Glenda Laura Celada Rendero. Hemos Alfredo García Granadino. Oso Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Said I saw her. Yeah, she's there. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortez Díaz. Chicos, alguien está escuchando música y se escucha en la clase mucho volumen. Ok, thank you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. I am here. Thank you. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Zulema Ivonne Moreno Hernández. Present. Jarvin Isaac Guerra, I'm sorry, hold on. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Alright, so Jarvin. And Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present. I know this jury is here already, as well as Glenda. Okay. I'm here too, teacher. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Okay, thank you for having your camera on. We're just missing William and Yuri. Welcome to our class number 18. Wait, is it? Yeah, today's class number 18. In this session, we're going to discover and learn about different jobs that you can apply for on digital marketing. But um, I think we have a clear idea. I mean, the internet, do you think internet is the complicated? You think it's complicated? Yes, Thelma? Yes, it's difficult for me because I don't visit uh, uh, frequently. I frequently, I don't frequently visit the website. Yeah. Perfect English, you see. Love it. <laughs> yeah. I don't frequently visit websites. Um, let's see, what makes it so difficult? Um, is it that you don't, you just don't, if you never had ex an experience, like you, you don't have an idea of how to use a computer maybe. Um, I remember my first days using a compact presario really heavy back in 1997, 1998. Yeah, I moved from Santa Ana, as I told you, on November 14th, 1998 to San Salvador. And um, I'll never forget that date. I mean, there are dates that I never forget and that's one of them. But when I moved with my uncle, he was the only one who had like three or four degrees. You know, he was a technician 
he was an accountant. Um, what else? Um, I think he graduated uh, as a public accountant, but he didn't use all of his titles. You know, he used to work for an NGO. You know, what is an NGO? An ONG, NGO. Yeah. So he used to work for an NGO, uh, going to yeah. Zacate, going to where the boss doesn't reach, you know, to help poor people. That's what he used to do. And people used to love him. You know, he was a very kind person, very humble. He was very humble. And well, the thing is that he he taught me, well, <laughs> he threw me to the water, <laughs> basically, at 2.30 a.m. This was him. He was very strict with me. He was very strict because he was my good father, not just my uncle, but he was my good father. I'm going to say his name. His name was Vicente Rodriguez, Jose Vicente Rodriguez Arevalo. Jose Vicente Rodriguez he was a nice guy. The thing is that at 2.30 a.m., I was 16 years old, and he used to go like, muchacho, muchacho, come here, right? Get Prepare some coffee. And then you come to the studio. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going right now. I used to prepare coffee with, with cinnamon sometimes, take his coffee, you know, he was smoking on his studio and he used to go, okay. I never forget the first time he said, grab the computer. Okay, that's the keyboard. You know the letters, right? And I was like, yeah, I'm on, I'm on, what was I? Ninth grade, I'm a ninth grade already, or something like that. It was like, okay, okay, go ahead. I'm gonna dictate and you type. And I was like, I never touched a computer before. Call. It was like, go ahead, try it. And I started. Man. And then when I used to get stuck with a word, he used to go like, so tonto o te haces? I was like, oh my God, right? <laughs> I used to hate that, but later he died. He passed away in 2007 and I understood many things, many things. He used to use uh, inverse psychology with me because he knew that I was, I was smart. So he, he used to push me to force me to do the best. You know, it was stressful, but at the same time it was good. But now that I think about it, if he wouldn't have done that, if he wouldn't have done that, I would have never learned how to use a computer. In fact, the first thing that he did after that was leave me like homework. You know, every day I had to type on, a, do you remember the word processors? Who remembers the word processors? No? Processor de texto or text processor, I don't know. It was like after the typing machines. <laughs> it was similar to a computer. You used to type the words and then hit enter. And... Okay, next. <laughs> Did you use that? No? Yeah. Man, La Curacao used to sell those things with a monitor for you to type. I was like, that didn't last. I think not even six months on the market or a year, not that I think of. And then computers came alive. You know, we had the internet. I mean, computers without internet. Did you use a computer without internet? Raise your hand. Come on, let me see. Yeah, you did? Who remembers MS2? <laughs> Do you remember MS2? <laughs> no? Yeah. Oh, my God. What a pain in the butt my god now i ask you is it useful was it useful to learn those things yeah why for well for you of course i mean uh, well i don't know tell me well in my case ms dos is uh, the name of the that program now is powershell i is the is the, the kind uh, it's, it's almost the same, but with more uh, features. Hmm. But uh, the, the, the commands that you, that you use uh, at the beginning, for example, to create to create a, a directory, 
to create a, a file uh, erase update that commands is uh, are are using are using the, uh, in programming. Say? Yes, but no, but uh, you actually currently you you can use that that language. Lo seguimos usando. Lo seguimos usando. We're currently still using. We're still yes. using. Yeah, that commands that are and oh and, commands. You're saying commands. Yes, some commands. Just our commands. Uh -huh. And that uh, sometimes uh, are very useful because uh, uh, the things is may, maybe are complicated to to write commands, but sometimes it's is more useful that uh, the graphic the graphic uh, screen that you you can configure it sometimes the commands are more useful than than, than graphic screen. Uh, for example, how do you create an any in your keyboard, right? If there is no any on your keyboard. Uh, you have to, to use a combination of- Of, of keywords, of, of keywords. kids, of kids. Uh -huh. yes. How do you do that? Uh, in my case, I well, in Mac is, expressing command plus uh, n two times command n n and oh my that, god that's yes. so weird okay for regular people ah <laughs> no, <laughs> you can you can, you can you can change you can change the the idiom the language the language of and the keyboard yeah maybe maybe you you can you can see the, the the key and the keyboard but you you know when the keyboard is in Spanish where is where is the keyboard you know uh, i didn't realize i changed my my uh keyboard finally i went to el selectos and i bought a maxel keyboard because all i needed was a soft keys keyboard that was all uh, can and you can you type without see the keyboard without seeing the keyboard no but i just noticed i realized that it's in spanish it has the ñ. yeah for example uh i <laughs> I use the, the two combination sometimes and I I don't need to be to, to watch the keyboard because I know where is the the, the aim. So for me it's not probably but yeah usually... that, I, I always wanted to do that, you know. How can you type without I, I do it sometimes, you know, but not all of the words. I, it's rare. It's rare. I mean I didn't go to classes or anything. I had to learn the hard way. But the thing is, well, okay, to get the Enya is Alt 164, I think. Yeah, Alt 164, 164 is at, I remember. Hold on. Mm, mm, no. Actually, for A. When you use a different language, for example, yeah. for example, in English, it's Alt. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. That is the, the ASCII code to, to the... Hotkey code, I can't remember how you call those things. But well... ASCII, yes. Okay. There are ASCII. That's, that's, yeah. Uh, can you type it on the chat? Because if you go yes. to, to Google and you type that, you will get a whole list of keywords on how to do it. Give me one second. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Google, how do you say colador? Colador. I hey, how do you say metido in English? Obstrusive. Wait, obstrusive? obstrusive? Come on, there's an easier one, a more common uh, one. Colador is a strainer. Strainer. My I bought a strainer for my wife at, at Bidri because I used I used her plastic strainer to strain the filter, the oil of my car. You know, I wanted to reuse some oil and I filtered. So I was like, oh my God, I have to go to Vidri for a, for a strainer. And I bought her a nice one, you know, a metallic strainer and everything. She was just um, squeezing some oranges and she broke it. <laughs> she just came like, <laughs> like <laughs> it looked quality, you know. Okay. Another way of saying obstrusive is prepare your childhood. Snoopy. <gasps> That's metil. Snoopy. Okay. Okay. So the question to start up this uh, lesson is very simple. Um, 
I had it on the top of my tip, on the tip of my tongue, I'm sorry. Um, let me see. But if you get the idea, what is coming next? I'm not gonna talk to you about how we got used to the computer. Um, we used to call it in international relations on 14 at first, I'm sorry. On 14 at first, we used to talk to, about this a lot because when I started 14 at first in 2010, when I started studying, um, it was the boom, globalization. We are now in a globalized world and we are on the, what generation are we on, you know, of the globalization? I, I, I remember something about that, but globalized world is understood as having cell phones, having internet. We're in the fifth generation of internet, I don't know. But what is next? What is next? What will our kids must adapt to? Listen to this, or if you want it in a different way, what will the next generation have to adapt to? Let's talk about technology. Think about marketing. How will the world change in terms of marketing and technology? What is next? It sounds difficult. No, it's very simple. And we are living it already. Some of us are still investigating. You know, we are attracted by that world. El Salvador is emerged in this new thing. So I just gave you the idea. Again, what's the question? <laughs> what is the question? Did you get it? Yeah. Okay. What, what or child mm. will... Mm -hmm. Next generation. Next what will the next generation? Yeah, next generation. Mm -hmm. uh, and so adapt to. What will the next generation have to adapt to? You know, regarding marketing, technology, how will it be? I want you to think about it, discuss with your classmates, think about what's going on right now, what's going to be in the future, okay? How would you prepare for that? How would you prepare your kids if you have kids? That's a very interesting question. And it has to do with tonight's lesson. Okay, so let's go. Judy, let's go. What will next generation help to adapt to the in terms in terms of digital marketing and technology? <gasps> How will oh. the next generation have to adapt to what will the next generation <clears throat> have to adapt to? Uh -huh. In terms of digital marketing and technology, what will the next generation have to adapt to? Have to adapt to in terms of digital marketing and technology. Yep. Okay. Yep. I think um, 
the next step is um, the metaverse. Okay. Is the thing okay. we will need to adapt because maybe the, the teenager, the kids will grow in with the technology, but we maybe will we will be old when that technology uh, um, be in in our life, right? Yeah, maybe the cars. I think we, plan. yes, I, I imagine myself like uh, my mom and my father with the cell phone right now, with the metaverse. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but well, but we will need to adapt to, to that uh, kind of environment, digital environment, and the many things that they we will need to um, getting or our house or I don't know our environment to use that technology and for example I don't know if you heard about um, in, internet of things for example, no, what is that internet of things are the uh, old kind of equipment that uh, you can uh, Use Bye. in a remote remote way. For example, you have, for example, um, um, cameras, uh, security cameras in your house, and you can check uh, what happened in your house uh, in, in your cell phone. You only need to connect the cameras to the internet by Wi-Fi. Uh, or some kind of wireless uh, net, and you can watch that. But uh, right now, is more using in the in industry. For example, you can uh, adapt uh, different kind of equipment to the um, uh, machines or Muy bien. Or, yeah, yeah, machines. You can, and you can check it, the, the status, the machines uh, from your tablet, your uh, cell phone, for example. Uh, for example, uh, if you are in a real moment for a para, uh, para no quedarse atrás, uh, left behind. To avoid being left behind. Mm -hmm. To avoid being left behind. Okay. Um, in, in my opinion, is 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 very important. Uh, uh, but the next generation uh, always update of technologies um, uh, and work. Um, Working in uh, uh, the in in the nets in the in the, the shop um, online. Uh, in my case, is very difficult. I'll uh, begin uh, uh, begin. Uh, say? <clears throat> shopping and uh, in, in online. Uh, in my case, it's, it's, it's difficult uh, for the, uh, difficult for, uh, I don't know, uh, the, say, say, I don't know uh, all, all uh, the tools and uh, the tools in uh, in the web and in in some in some some place in algunas páginas. Uh, um, so interesting because in English, I've a different application that we learn English. Well, yeah, 
Yes. Yeah. For the my necessity, necessity. What is what is the word? Right word. Well, for my help is is um, obligation using internet, but I had the is, internet. Is but, an obligation? Yeah, for in your my health. Work, for ex oh, for your job. Yes, for my job. Uh, every day, I. I had to use in internet uh, for uh, make a to make payments make make a payments uh, oh, oh, oh. to make role, payments to make payments uh, the taxes the transfers by a bank and it's necessary to use the internet and um, also I had to use other application um, because my daughter uh, said yeah um, the injury yeah um, I, I can speak so much because my baby is crying now. I can yeah. speak too much. I can talk too much. It's okay. Thank you. In my case, I am working in this moment. Oh, okay. Don't worry, guys. <clears throat> okay. The next question is, how are you preparing or will prepare for it? Um, consistency for me is one of the most important things or behavior in your life because mm -hmm. without consistency you will never finish anything so in this case um, how can you prepare your child or your or yourself as and you you don't stop learning right Stop learning about technology, digital marker, market, right? And that is, that is the key, actually, because I like to I like to learn about programs, how to develop some programs, and yeah, actually, I am trying to learn different world languages. World language, actually, is this. That is correct. World languages or programmation languages. I don't know. <laughs> oh, like Python, uh, yeah. HTML. I don't know. Actually, I am starting to learn Python. What is the difference uh, between the different ty uh, different kind of languages in in uh, yeah. Programmation? How do you say program? Only flu. Okay. But when I had flu, I had a problem with the antihistaminicals. Okay. Don't worry. Yeah, but no problem. For me in the future, uh, about the... I, I maybe like, how to say Facebook in the, in the future? Let me see now. Meta, yeah, mm -hmm. like meta. All thing will be no real, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is my, this is for me, see the future when the, the next generation like meta without, with the real world, yeah. Mm -hmm. Teacher is correct in real world. Actually, there's a saying, there's an, it's not an idiom, it's a saying. That's not how the real world works. That's not how the real world works. Okay. That's not how the real world works. It's an, 
a saying the Americans use. Okay, let's go back. Only that, guys, only that because that's it, I, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. You're sick, right? Yeah. What is it? Flu. I have the Just the flu? flu? I think, teacher. I think. You should check yourself. Don't trust in the flu right yes. now. Yes, I know. <laughs> I hope I you get think, better. Maybe. Okay. Thank you, teacher. In a few years, we're going to be talking about flying cars and, you know, how to operate things, how to open the door of a car how to go to the bathroom because there will be no toilet paper. Trying to find <laughs> things is gonna be more difficult, but we're all going there, you know. So that's the way it is. That sounds like... That was weird. Are I you have a... making joke to me? <laughs> oh? You don't talk like that. You don't you sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say something. <laughs> no. The thing that, the thing that uh, you saying to said is like the movie of Sylvester Salon when he was uh, uh, frozen and the, they have to yes. go frozen to to cap to capture a. Uh, uh, a criminal. Really? What? Who, who is it? Martin Lawrence, uh, the, the black guy? No, he's Danny, Danny is Rodman. Oh, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's an old movie. Yes. With Sylvester uh, Stallone. It's, it's a good movie. Yeah, that's a nice movie. I was, I started watching it recently. Now that I'm working cases, I have my cell phone hanging right in front of the computer, you know, and I'm working. <laughs> it's funny because I just watched Desencanto, Unenchant Disenchantment, you know, on Netflix. I watched the whole series and I didn't notice. I mean, I was like, oh my God, it's over. <laughs> four uh, four uh, seasons. I have a little surprise for you, okay? It's not easy to get old, but talking about technology, we're all going there. I mean, so what is your conclusion? What is, uh, before I give you the gift, what is your conclusion? Where are we heading? Where are we heading? I need three answers at least. If I get three answers from three students, I will give you a video as a gift so you can laugh for a few minutes. Okay, so where are we heading with technology and marketing? What were you talking about? Come on. Conclusion. Mm -hmm. We are human, we are able, we are completely able to learn and adapt to every change in life. <laughs> um, even becoming elderly, yeah, if you have the willingness. <laughs> Your comment is perfect for the video. You will see why. <laughs> okay, what do you think? Someone else, <laughs> Stefania, what do you think? Where are we heading? I don't know. Uh, to insert a microchip on our brain and talk a lot of language, I don't know. In fact, that was the original idea of the cell phone. Did you know? Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. The cell phone store history, I mean, the cell phone story, no, the cell phone history is, is very interesting. The, the guy who came up with the idea, his idea was to have a chip on your head, but he started with a big suitcase, a big suitcase <laughs> and the cell phone, and that was the battery. That's funny. Okay, one more. Thank you, gonna... Chair. We don't yeah. we don't have to to prepare us because we evolved with the the environment. We evolve. Evolve. Okay. Yes. <laughs> There's something that you're not considering. I'm sorry. 
they're gonna laugh. I hope you understand everything, okay? Pay attention, turn on the caption. This is just two minutes and 40 seconds. I love this video. These guys of Saturday Night Live are crazy. So there you go. Just mute your microphone and watch the video by yourself right now. And that's our future. Eventually, we will get there, all of us. No matter if you reach 100 years, how healthy you lived, eventually. I'm, I'm sure Thelma will be 120 at least. She's very healthy, you know, athletic. <laughs> I still remember one time when Thelma hugged me. She hugged me and she... Um, how do you say this? She she basically crunched my back when I was um, when when we were on live classes. Man, she's really strong. You are still right after COVID. Did you got COVID? You said right. <laughs> Before the COVID, I I am strong. <laughs> you were. <laughs> oh, so strong. really? But, yeah. Oh. And actually, mm, you I feel had, different. I had to uh, exercise a lot. Keep doing it. Keep going with that. Don't yeah. forget that's your life right there. Okay, guys, did you like the video? Yes. Yeah. I need one of. That's <laughs> what to, fi to find my I I forget always where I, where I put my things. <laughs> what things? Anything? <laughs> I don't know, but I don't. Know. I don't know. But I, lo <laughs> I love that saying, Andres. Did you notice? I, who? What? I don't know about that. It's a saying that Americans have. Elderly people go like that. I don't know about that. And they were talking about it. Oh my God.
<laughs> it's so funny, but at the same time, sometimes it's annoying. Okay, hope you like the video. Let's move on with the class tonight. And you know what, Andres, you should check that. Yeah, you're very young. I, I tend to forget things. For example, today I was repairing the car and I misplaced the 13 key, you know, the, I don't know. Yeah, the key. Um, I was looking for it everywhere. And I had placed it on top of the battery because I was using it for the battery. So it was like, really, like half an hour later. My God. Have you seen the video of the guy sweeping the floor? And then he puts the, the, the broom under his pit arm, armpit. He goes like this. And he goes, <laughs> it's under his armpit. Oh, my God. That happens to us. Most of all for men. Okay. Let's move it. So on the first uh, stage, we have some questions. And again, discuss different job profiles required in digital marketing. What does it have to do with becoming elderly? Well, what is your hope to get a new job in El Salvador? What is the oldest you can be to get a job? Exactly. Uh, what? 60 years? 60? You can get a job at 60? No, I, th I, I think 15. 15. 55. 55. Oh. Solo yeah. si no fuera for, in China, why they, they are looking for peop older people. Peop really? Yeah. Yes. What yes, for? On social media. Actually, they are looking for just only older people to work from China. What? Yeah. The only request is to be enthusiastic and that they want to work. But that's a program. I guess they're trying to help elderly. I guess. Mm, probably. Mm -hmm. Sounds interesting. Actually, Walmart was doing that sometime. Uh, the people who used to pack your stuff, you know, used to be from, from uh, retirement homes, things like that. Uh, and they used to pay them a little bit or something. And um, but now they don't have bags, so that program is not going anymore, I guess. Okay, it's but in, in the US, what please? They still do it in the US. Oh, really? Yeah, hmm, nice. Hey, but in reality, here in El Salvador, what is the live spam expectation, you know, for someone looking for a job? I mean, what do you think is the profile that they're looking for? Regarding age, if you come speak in English, you can apply for call center. <laughs> for a call center, guess, um, yeah. as a recruiter, as a recruiter, I will tell you. If I am looking to hire teachers, I never hire. I never used to hire uh, fat people. I'm sorry, it's not denigration. I'm just saying. I, I never hired somebody fat. Right. I never hire, I'll tell you in a minute. I never hire people old, old people, because for the job, the job specification, if I have a teacher old and fat, that's not going to work for me. He's not going to have the energy, you know, to move around the class. Most likely, he will seat. I'm talking about a live class, of course. He will sit on the chair and just talk to the students and talk, 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 and start talking about World War II and da da da. That's not okay. Hey, my file sleep. Again? He might fall asleep. He might fall asleep. Yes, there's a chance. Or he may forgot things. Regarding call center jobs, why? Well, I will think twice about hiring someone over 35 years old. I'm 40. <laughs> it depends on the job. For example, and Fernando is not going to let me lie. Fernando is not going to let me lie on this. If you are hiring someone to learn technical English about computers or to actually use technical English for computers, those are processes. Some, uh, somebody over 35, over 40 may not get the idea or 
will take a long time resolving something that is easy and so on and so on if it is just for email and chat you know somebody just replying to emails and chats he won't get the target he won't reach the goal per hour because this person will think too much and that is the problem when you become old uh, you overthink and that's a process you overthink overthinking is not good in any aspect you know just do it don't think too much think of the pros and cons really quick okay let's do it let's take a decision let's do it and that's the way it works so that's the problem with age so how do you get started to become an e-commerce specialist hmm what does that sound like what is an e-commerce specialist somebody I think it's someone who has the expertise uh, related to e-commerce expertise. Thank you. Related to e-commerce. What was e-commerce again? It's selling online, right? We said it, selling online. Has the expertise of selling online. Okay. So that person could be an, what? A counselor? Okay. So, how do you get started? So first, based on Erica's warrant, you need the experience. What is next? Can I have the experience and not be successful? Could be. <laughs> Would you hire an advisor who hasn't been successful and has a lot of experience, 10 years of experience on e-commerce? But, you know, he drives a Toyota from 1992. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe. Okay. Uh-huh. William. <laughs> no, it's just a joke. Maybe he is a drunk people. He's, he's drunk. He's a drunk guy. Okay. He never accomplished his goals because he's always drunk. He has an addiction. Okay, will you hire someone with that profile? And that's the point of the question. What qualifications, by the way, correct your book, what qualifications are required to be a digital marketing manager? What is a digital marketing manager? Somebody? I'm going to start selecting people because you don't want to talk. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Sulema, <laughs> come out of the woods, come out of the woods. I love your background. Sulema, what is a digital marketing manager? Maybe um, a person who manage uh, um, an e-commerce uh, marketing campaign, um, mm -hmm. a web page. Okay, so he decides what to do next. Hmm. Yeah. So what would be a qualification that you can think of? Someone who will be managing your web page or your business online. Uh, maybe um, knowledge about um, uh, business administration. Um, maybe uh, I don't know what to say. Okay. Uh, redes sociales. I, I I don't remember. Social networks. Yeah. Okay. Networks. Okay, not a problem. You have to discuss these two questions in groups. We only have five minutes for this. It's going to be funny. It's very simple, okay? Think about the examples you got from your classmates and me right now and start making these questions. How do you get started to become an e-commerce specialist? What qualifications are required to be a digital marketing manager? I believe creativity is very important in everything that you do. Uh, especially on marketing 
If you're not creative, you are setting the pace for um, failure. Okay, let's go. Just five minutes. Hurry up to start talking right away. Oh my God, you're so noisy. Okay. <laughs> How do you get started to become an e-commerce specialist? You get started to become an e-commerce specialist. What qualification are we ready to be digital marketing manager? Study special. Uh, maybe is is something related to the management of the uh for example uh as online store uh, they have to to take decisions about the sales the the image of the of the store what products are on the top, what products are up down, what uh, I'm going to do to uh, increase the, the, the sale for the product that they they don't don't sell, for example. Uh, they have to 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 to, to watch the the visits of the website. What how how many traffic how much traffic is is it is in the web page? Uh, much traffic is there on the web is there. page? Or there is, I'm sorry. How much traffic maybe, there is on the web page? Maybe can we can work as a Is out of, like, how do you pronounce uh, autodidactic picture? Yeah. Self, le self learning? Yes. Yeah, so, the, the person uh, uh, learn watching videos or reading books, manuals by himself. Like me? Yeah. Yeah, he's a, a, a self-taught person, self-taught person. Yeah, it's a good option to become, to prepare for, to be a becomer, a specialist. Specialist. Mm -hmm. Specialist. For example, when when someone is, uh, I don't know if in English you can say amateur. Mm -hmm. When you, when you love, uh, something, whatever you you learn easier. And I think that that's the the main point uh, when you want to be a specialist in in some in something. True, true, true. In the end, if you don't give it a try, you'll never know. Yeah. Yeah. That's the whole thing. You have to fail first, always. I love <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you learn to, to walk. Yes. Okay, okay, so that's the main idea. Good job, guys. Let's go back. Yeah. 
come on. <risa> come on, dijo aquel. <risa> you sounded just like that guy. What's his name? Wichito. Wichito, I think. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the attendance. Let's see. It's nine o'clock. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. I know two. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present, teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Erika Beatriz López Morales. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chávez. Fredis Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Present. Heimos Alfredo García Granadino. Present. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present, teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. She was there. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. Is there Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández? Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Thelma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Present. Oh, good. Something's wrong with your camera, right? We cannot see you. Okay. So up next on your book, you're supposed to give the definition, get the definition, get new vocabulary regarding positions um, of digital marketing. So in general, digital marketing is another field. It's not a niche of market, but it's a, it's a sector, let's say. It's not an industry, and at the same time, it's the connection to an industry, it's the connection to companies that provide services. So, but in general, it's just the publicity, the ads that you can see, how a product is promoted um, through the internet. So as time changes, and that's what I was wanted, what I wanted to point out, with the opening question of this uh, session is that our kids, the next generation will need to adapt to more technology. They need to adapt to um, a different currency. I mean, think about it, how we have lived for the last 30, 40 years, my age, transacting, transacting with money something that you can touch. If you haven't done it yet, I will suggest you to study the story, or I'm sorry, the history of money. The history of money. I guess you don't know this, but long, long time ago, people used to transact with their promise, with their worth. First, it was like, I promised you, I will give you in five days, two cows, okay? If you give me uh, one cow right now, in five days, I will give you two cows. That was a transaction. Later, people started transacting with a piece of paper. Listen, a piece of paper, which used to read, you know, this paper words, two cows and it must be paid by the end of five days starting today. A pagaré, right? Same thing, a promise, a promise of payment. 
and then it moved to something with value on it, with a number and so on, and then it evolved. But our kids will need to adapt to a whole different world. I loved when Yuri told me, Yuri told me that his daughters are, are transacting or investing, I guess. I haven't studied that and I feel bad about, for me, you know, is I haven't gone in deep with all this, uh, it's not Bitcoin, how do you, crypto, cryptocurrency. I haven't studied it in deep and it's important, I think. I will recommend you to study a little bit about crypto. And why? Because, man, even if you don't use it, what if in the future money disappears completely? What will you do if you don't know how to use it? You got it? Okay, that's important. So now that you have the context, in a real life job, let's say in standard jobs, you need an accountant, you need a technician, sometimes a plumber, sometimes an electrician, operators, I don't know, human resources managers. Do you need all that in this context in um, digital marketing? So let's find out, let's uh, make sense to this and we will watch a video after you get the definitions of each word in groups, okay? Do it right and I'll give you a video regarding this topic, which is very interesting as well, okay? Would you like me to split you or will you do it right now? Right now. Right now. Okay, okay. You have exactly two minutes. Let's do it together, everybody. Just analyze the chart for two minutes and then you will give me one minute and you will give me the answers, okay? Go ahead. Okay, I, you know what? This is easy. I thought it was going to be hard, but let me just go choosing some of you randomly. Uh, I'm going to start from my right. Um, Glenda, are you there? Yes. What is a data analyst? Uh, this person collects, process, and performs a statistical analysis of data, of data. Do we all, number three, do we all agree? Yes. Yeah, yeah? okay. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, San. What was, hold on, Laura, thank you. Um, hmm. Sandra Elizabeth, are you there? Okay, let me go with Edwin Alexander. What is a content manager? Um, I, I choose, I put a number board with someone who supervises the content present on website and blog. Okay, do we all agree? 
Yes. Yes. I, I do too. Okay. Okay. Doris, thank you, thank you, Edwin. Doris, what will be the next one? I don't know how to make this thing larger. You know, the text doesn't fit. Oh my God. Yeah. How do you make this thing larger? Wait. Oh well, the friend. Uh, uh, the job is mainly related to the styling and layout of page with content, including text and images. Images. Repeat images. 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 Got it. Images, that's a web designer. Okay. Oh. That is a web designer. Do we all agree? Yes. Yes. Easy, right? Okay, next, Chief Digital Officer, Irene. Number five, an individual who helps a company grow by comparing traditional businesses to digital ones. Mm -hmm. Traditional, 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 traditional businesses, traditional businesses to digital ones. That's a chief digital officer. Do we all agree? Yeah. Yes. 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 Easy, easy, cheesy. Okay. Thank you. Irwin. Erwin, what's a web manager? Uh, the number one, an uh, individual who builds, grows, and manages online communities. I uh, no, 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 it's a community manager. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's the number six. A person, uh huh. A person in charge of developing, managing, and maintaining websites. Web manager, a person in charge of developing, managing, and maintaining websites. Do we all agree? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what's a community manager, Yuri? An individual who build, grow, and manage, manage, manage online communities. Community manager. Easy. Take a screenshot if you want. So let's pay attention to each one. Data analyst. This person collects, processes, and performs statistics, statistical, statistical analysis of data. What? This person collects, processes, and performs statistical analysis of data. Um, why is this person important? Because of what we studied before. Cookies. Maybe this person analyzes cookies, you know, or there's a program specifically to determine what is the traffic. Fernando was saying in his group, what is the traffic um, or the trend, you know, who visits what part of your website? What ad had more impact than others? Google. Google has the tools that will allow you to do all the statistics, you know, in one shot. So you post an ad and you can see the statistics. Actually on Twitter, you post something on Twitter or you tweet a tweet. It is something that calls social listening. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Are you a community manager? I'm curious. No, but, but I mean, um, innovation um, projects, Yes, so I, you told I me before. That. True, yeah. true. Man, you could easily be a, what? What would be your position if you didn't do what you were doing and you know about digital marketing? What would be your uh, area of expertise among these positions? Mine? Yeah. Um, Which one would you choose? Innovation, I guess. Innovation manager or something like that. Oh, uh, so that will be like a chief digital officer. Are you creative? No, because I'm not a developer. Hmm. I only um, get involved in the, um, the design of the product, but not the development of the product. Involve. Involve, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Perfect, good. I only get involved in the design of the product, but that's a lot. 
So you yeah. are creative because, yeah, designing the product is one thing. It's functionality, the form, colors. Exactly. A lot of things. Okay, so you got to be creative. Uh, and that's what it, in my opinion, you know, a creative person has it all. It's very important. Okay, moving on. If you already took a screenshot, let's continue. Uh, content manager, what did we say? Well, uh, someone who supervises supervises the content presented on websites and blogs. Why is it important to check the content of your website? A typo. <laughs> uh, if you have Twitter, you know what I mean. If you're reading in Spanish on some tweet from another Salvadorian and oops, it says que, solo una Q, and then haces, sin H, you go like, what, uh, what? <laughs> or you go like, my eyes, right? Oh my God. That kind of things, you know. Okay, so every position is important. Now, which out of those do you think pays the best? Which one is better paid? Amos, what do you think? What's the best paid position among those? Your microphone. <laughs> Repeat the question, sure. Who do you think that makes more money out of this? Mm. Yeah, in my opinion, the community manager. <laughs> okay. <No. laughs> I don't know. The community manager. Just because it says manager. Mm, the manager. What about the web manager? <laughs> uh huh. Okay. You know what? Let's find For... out. Let's find out. Let's watch a short video about that. Okay. <laughs> What's the best position you can get? Um, in this field, in digital marketing, how to start a career. Please turn on your captions. Make sure you get new vocabulary because I will make you questions when we return, okay? Okay, uh, you know what? I'll split you this time. If you have any doubts, Ask your classmates. ¿Qué entendiste? Yo no entendí nada. Decime. Right? Like that. Okay? Well, I'm not there. Okay. No Spanish. Give it a try. It's on your WhatsApp. Laura, Roberto, let's go.
Hello. You done? Yes, I finished. What do you think? Um, I didn't know the 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 first uh, positions or jobs he mentioned, but I I know that uh, the jobs related to technologies and digital marketing are so well paid. Oh, in the yes. States, right? <laughs> or in other countries. Yes, yes. For example, here in El Salvador, a community manager mm, doesn't earn a lot of money, I think. And they, they request to apply to a, a disposition are uh, several because you have to know about design, you have to know about digital marketing, you have to know uh, another language, you have to, to, to you, you have to have. You need uh, to, you need to, you must you have. To, you, you must have, yes. A lot of degrees and, and courses and knowledge and the pay is not much. The payment, the payment, um, yeah, the, the pay, the pay, no, 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 you're okay. The pay is not okay. much, it's not much. Mm -hmm. hmm. I didn't know that. I thought they were doing okay here. Okay, it's five positions exactly. Yeah. Hmm. How, how do you say bolsa de trabajo in English? Work, labor labor pool, bad. labor pool. Labor pool. Labor like, pool? Yeah. Like, ah, uh, okay. Oh, wait, okay. hold on. No, that's mano de obra. Um, that term is used. Job openings is like uh, doing a, yeah, an open house and a job opening, a job bank, a job bank. That's so, okay. Job bank. When you are when you are searching new opportunities in a job bank, hmm? you notice the difference of of salaries, compositions, and when they are looking for a a developer, the payment is high. It's really high. I offered, uh, well, I, I was, we are looking for somebody who develops um, some programs in the company, but, but there's a lot of requirements. And I think they're not offering more than a thousand dollars, a little bit more than a thousand, but not more. Not a much, not much more than a thousand dollars. So nobody has applied. Let's say nobody has given it a try. They ask for too many things, you know, too many programming languages and so on. Yeah, and totally what you're saying, right? It's just you may have all the requirements, but if they don't pay you good. What's it going to be? Okay, let's go back. Let's see what the others think about this. <clears throat> okay, Josué Alberto, what was the best paid um, job position? Jose Alberto, not yet. You have uh, let me see. It's, I guess top in your average. <laughs> okay. If you noticed all of the positions, he was saying that the top something, top earner. But I think it's job number five, right? What was job number five? 
Zule. Or yeah, Jessica, Jessica. Teacher, I think it is a data, data scientist is the number, the job number three is the, the salary is more high because it's between two, uh, a hundred, two thousand dollars and a hundred, three thousand, thirty, sorry, thirty thousand dollars. Thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's uh, data scientist. Yeah, data scientist. 120 to 130, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. yeah. They made more than a community <laughs> manager. Per year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Per, per year. Like, but, I mean, if you the do the same the, as uh, uh, the $1,833. Yeah. Yeah. Per, per month. Almost $11,000 a month. <laughs> oh my God! What would you do with eleven thousand dollars a month? Ooh. <laughs> a lot of money. That's. Well. But I I hear some people then they work uh, for United States companies that they don't don't Make. that the pay is not is mm -hmm. not like like that high, but. Uh, the salary is relatively high. What's the minimum right now in El Salvador? Three fifty-seven. Mm, no, no, no. Uh, about uh, five thousand dollars per month. No, no, no. In El Salvador, what is the minimum salary? Ah, minimum salary. Yes, that is minimum wage. Three Three six five. Three six five. Three six five. That's four thousand three hundred and eighty dollars a year. <laughs> yeah. I always wonder how some <laughs> some families survive with that. But anyways, it's difficult. It's difficult. Mm -hmm. Wow. You have a second job. I have. I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> because you say you have a lot of children, that's why you have two jobs. Oh my God. <laughs> he left. <laughs> I don't have a TV. What do you want me to do? I'm just kidding. No, no, no. I, I really wanted it. three kids. Well, four. I thought you said you had five. Five with the car. Oh, okay. <laughs> seven, seven with the cats. I mean, look at him. His actually, just, actually, wait, most how, of the I cannot. Eight. Yeah. He's totally yeah. asleep right now. And he's always right. like supporting me, you know, when I'm working, he's there. Oh my God. It's crazy. Sometimes he he snores. He goes like <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's difficult. Uh, but I mean you have to, we were talking about that with Erica on, on her group. You need a lot of knowledge. A lot of knowledge, I I will say. Now, can you get the knowledge? Is it free? I'm asking you, can you get the knowledge to become a... Yeah. Uh, yeah, how? Yes, if for, it's free actually. In the video, he said some He mentions? He mentions that is free, some courses. Okay. There are some free courses. Actually, during the whole pandemic, Google was offering uh, free courses. They opened, they unblocked their courses. So whoever wanted to take them, to take them, you know, TikTokers were making that famous, you know, but there's one thing that we're in lack of. We are in lack of all the time, and that's willingness, right? Our main problem is that we stick to a job. We never think about starting up our own business, and we just remain there. And nowadays, it's very easy to start a business. So now that you have read and understood about some jobs in digital marketing 
let's make this more interesting. Let's see. Um, we're going to learn or deduct, you're going to investigate in your group some details because on, on exercise number three, you need to label the requirements A or B to match the right job. So for example, uh, we have web designer and we have content manager. What is the knowledge that each position requires? So a web designer, do you think they, a web designer will need basic HTML? Yes. Yes. Okay, but Fernando knows and Alexander may have an idea as well. Uh, some of us may not. So in your case, for example, for you may explain your classmates why. In your in easy words, easy words. How because, do you uh, huh? because uh, well you, you can see the, the screen and you can see the object for our position in the screen, but you have to figure out uh, how how the, the, the programmer or the or the guy that is going to develop that website how uh, they have to, to do something like a template. The template is in HTML, something. HTML, mm -hmm. Yes. So they, they have to know what, uh, you have, they have to know the language. That is in a language, but it's a... Is that fair? Is that when I push F12 on my Windows computer? You know, if I'm on a browser and I type F12, I hit the F12 key, I get a separate screen. Yes, you, you, you are the inspector of the, of the web page. That's crazy. I hate to yes, hit that so, screen. For example, when you, you ask, ask us for the, to the, the survey, the final survey, you can, you can inspect the, the, the web page and, and change the message if you want and take a screenshot. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so let's define what are the requirements for each of the positions, A or B. Research, understand, make sure that everybody in your group is understanding each requirement. I know it sounds like complex language, guys. Don't think too much about it, okay? Let's move on. Okay. Si me permiten, me voy a parar por un minuto, ¿ok? Ok. And, uh, we're going to discuss about what? Andrés. Andrés. And I think it's a, what is the novelist, the, the job? We, we, what kind of knowledge we need to, we need to have for, for apply this kind of jobs? Yes. Okay. I think that for example, Ah, y aquí, a web designer y a content designer. It's in page 30. Exercise okay. three. Exercise three. three. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Content designer, excellent writing skills in English. Content web designer. Web designer based HTML. A web designer, maybe it's basic HTML. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same. Okay. And in excellent writing skills in English mm -hmm. is content managers. Content. Web 
web page scripting, web designer. So, yeah. mm -hmm. Ah, but uh, it's a level the requirement A or B to match yes. the structure. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What does it mean? Level. 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 Etiquetar. Yes, etiquetar. Los requisitos A o B dan más de right job. Uh -huh. ah. Ok. Entonces, create in, engaging. Create engaging content. content. Web design, eso yo. Porque engaging, según lo que encontré, es atractivo. Atractivo. Uh -huh. Diseños atractivos, como crear uh -huh. dis contenido atractivo. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok, maybe web designer. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. M multimedia design web designer sí content manager someone who supports the content present on web sites and blogs sería content verdad mm -hmm. web eh, web dele sure Yes. Uh, Web designer or, or content manager? Content manager. Content manager. Yeah. Yeah. For the I'm dancing content. For on that thing, but size uh, always uh, introduce new content, mm -hmm. content manager. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the web designer, only designer of the web. Uh, multimedia design. Uh -huh. Multimedia design. Multimedia design. Uh, uh, my opinion is a web designer. Mm -hmm. For uh, the web designer, uh, in my opinion, always is an engineer or a specialist for designing the page web. Okay. What is the meaning of SEO? What? SEO. SEO. -E what is -E -O, that? This word is, is, is very. SEO. 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 So remember. Search. I just oh, remember the. What? SEO. Search engine optimization. Huh? What is? Search engine optimization. Yeah, uh, that was that was on a previous role play. Okay, okay. Search engine optimization. Okay. Um. The knowledge of SEO for me is content manager. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Creating gaming engaging content.
reading about updating website is more for content manager because the updating website is in charge to update image a relationship with with the community in many of those things a web designer they don't they don't do that because the the area the area of web designer is just create application and give someone else and publish that application yeah i i was reading that too so basically for web designer is only basic html um web page scripting and um web development right yes well in knowledge of seo mm -hmm, that's right mm -hmm. I guess you finished, right? Yes, teacher. Okay.
we are sleeping. Okay, before we proceed, William Alexander Ramirez Flores, presentarse a la dirección. I'm done. The story of my life. <laughs> William Alexander. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, hey, stay 10 minutes with me, okay? 10 minutes tonight, please, don't worry. Okay. So let's see. Dun, 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 dun. So go ahead. Let's start with the A, letter A. I'll just draw something here for you. Okay, so web designer, what do you need as a web designer? Basic HTML. Basic HTML, okay. Web page scripting. Web page scripting. Web page scripting. Web page scripting. Mm -hmm. Multimedia. Multimedia design. Multimedia design. So I I only hear one voice. Where are the others? Knowledge of SEO. Knowledge of SEO. Okay, we're talking about a web designer. What is what does SEO stands for? Search engine optimization. Excellent. Search engine optimization. Uh huh. Excellent writing skills in English. A web designer. Mm. No, they have to had skills from for web development. Ah, so they write, but on the background, right? A web yeah. designer texts on the background or types on the background. Okay, I They're agree. coding. They're code, right? Okay. Mm, what do you think, guys? Web development too. Web, 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 yeah, me too, I feel very web, <laughs> I have the web, okay, yeah. that's it, anything else? Hmm. Where's Fernando? I'm not listening. I'm not hearing Fernando anywhere. Uh, what, what do you think? Uh, for me, uh, multimedia design, uh, in my experience, maybe uh, could is couldn't necessary because uh, for a web designer, they sometimes they can do two functions. So you are UX designer and web designer. Mm -hmm. They design the, the screen, for example, or fig, in, in Figma, Sketch, or another platform. But usually they receive the screen. They, they receive the, for example, the images. They receive the, the scratch. The scratch and with the components only for put it in the in the in the web page. Only to add it to the web page. So the, the website. Uh, okay. Another guy is is a, is a, is, a, is, a, is in, in charge. charge of to to design the multimedia all the multimedia objects. Is in charge of designing all the multimedia objects and most likely is a content manager. No, content is just purely the data that will be displayed on the website, most likely, right? And so a content manager, you're telling me 
needs to know about updating websites, create engaging content, and must have excellent writing skills in English. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, updating websites. Um, I don't know, Rick. No. But we'll no. think about it. Okay. Yeah, that should go more for the web designer updating websites because in the end, they know what they did and how to take care of it. In a few words. Okay, it's 9.59. I'm staying with William just 10 minutes tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. It's Friday and the body knows it, but don't miss your class. Okay, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Night. <laughs> Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night, Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night, Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present, good night. Good night, Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present, good night, teacher. Good night, Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present, good night. Good night, Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night, get better. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present, good night. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chávez, Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Present, teacher. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. Present, teacher. Good night. Night. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Good night. Good night, Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night, Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Good night. Good night, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present, good night. Good night, Stefania Carolina Reyes Sanchez. Present, good night. Good night, William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present, good night. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, good night. Good night, Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana, Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present, good night. Good night, Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda, Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present, night. Good night. What's up? Okay. Mr. Ramirez, how are you? I'm very well. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. I'll be criticizing okay. you for the next 10 minutes, okay? Adil, how do you feel the class? How do I feel? Yeah, how do you feel about the classes? Um, the classes are interesting, but uh, for example, it is not my uh related to my career or it is new vocabulary and it is uh, sometimes difficult what's your area what's your uh where are you studying your what's your career career i'm a civil civil engineer a civil engineer mm -hmm. you have to create buildings houses you must be creative hmm. yeah <laughs> Did you know that um, ads on buildings pay? You know, they pay you if you want to put an ad on your house, on any wall outside? No, I don't know. So, for example, if you have a big patio, I mean, if, you, if your house is close or next to the street, to a road, a very... Uh, circulate road, let's say a, a road with a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. um, who knows? Maybe a company could look for you, or you can go and look for companies that will accept your field as a place to install, you know, a via publicitary. Let's say, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. a billboard. A billboard. So, why don't you think of a way? of mixing two things together, e-marketing with civil engineering. That would be a good idea. I know you're not an architect. You're not an architect, 
but thinking about the foundation of the house, if it is feasible or not, installing one of these ads, a monitor. I mean, uh, have you seen the big screens that they're using now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even the municipality, the alcaldía, the municipality is installing those ads and they charge for it. Yeah, you have to pay a lot. For example, if you put them on on the road or on the street, mm -hmm. you have to pay. That municipality. Yeah. yeah pay Tax. Taxes, that's right. Taxes are involved in everything. So why don't you mix things together? That would be a great idea. Okay. Why did you select civil engineering? I don't know. Um, when like I was that? younger, <laughs> I didn't know, but I, I really like um, construction in general. Yeah. Hmm. How long have you been studying civil engineering? Five years. Five years, you're almost done. Yeah. Are you in your thesis? Um, I finished my career uh, on 2015. 2015? Yeah. What? How old are Teacher, you? I'm 30. 30. Oh my God, you look like 25 or something. I'm old. Wow, we're old. Okay, mm, so you like numbers. Yeah, I'm good in that. Wow. I mean, solids, physics. No. Yeah. I don't they ever like them. But I do have to. No, they, they help you. They help you. Okay. Have you ever used the uh, Teorema de Pythagoras or something like that? Yeah. You do? Yeah. You... What? Yeah, yeah, sometimes you you use them in real life. Of course, nowadays you have tools. Yeah. But in when you, ha you don't have, for example, the a computer or something like that, you have to 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 do in in the old way. A pata. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm barefoot. Okay. Wow. What's your favorite part of your job? What What is it that you like the most? Um, for example, uh, calculating. Uh, Measurements? Uh, yeah, material. Or oh. I don't know how to say presupuestos. Budget. Budget. Uh, yeah, budget. Uh, okay. Doing the budget for the construction. Okay, yeah, it's not like one times two, you know, my, my father-in-law always do the mixture for the cement and he just goes like that, you know, it's just one bucket of sand and two, <laughs> of, and two of, of, of cement and that's it. I'm like, okay. And in the um, end, it works. <laughs> Yeah, for experience, you know, maybe, but uh, you you have to be sure about the sand, what are you using, and you have to send that for uh, in a laboratory, I don't know how to say. To a lab. Uh-huh, in a lab for the ensayos, I don't know how to say. To make uh, the samples. No, no, uh, wait. I don't know. To run samples, to run. Oh my God, I forgot to, how to say in essay. No, essay is for studying. Hmm. To make a test. Yeah, because you have to, uh, the test, you have to, to design. And it, it, but it is all about the usage. For example, I am about to redo or you have to redo the the entrance of the house before the 
the garage. There's a, a, a huge space of cement, but it's all cracked. It's all cracked. There are small plants, you know, in the middle of the cracks. And there are two uh, tubes, two PVC tubes, one on each side for the water, the drainage. And in the middle, you have the ANDA box. So you have to consider all of that yeah. when we're doing the thing. And I guess that's my point. And, you know, the amount of cement they use the mixture they made at first was too poor. Too yeah, poor. it depends on there. What are you using? What you're using? What do you mean? What you're using for, for example, that place needs to be really yeah. thick, uh -huh. thick because yeah. a car will be there, you know. So yeah. yeah, it is not the same if you just uh, people are using there, or maybe it's. Uh, a car mm -hmm. heavier things the same with the second mm -hmm. floor oh my god okay well nice talking to you hope you have a nice night thanks good night, night sir bye bye bye